my gosh. That was ridiculous. Holy freaking cow. We did it. Heck yeah, check that. <laughs> uh, a victory worthy of song and history. You've done well, but not well enough to match my power. How in the... Ultimately, bracers exist simply to protect people. Only those who have obtained enlightenment can hope to match one such as myself. The trial is over. Now comes the execution. Let me guess. Um, uh, what's his face? Cassius is going to show up. In that case, Loe, I'd like to challenge you one-on-one. -on -one. Oh? Joshua, are you kidding me? It's alright, Estelle. Loe may be strong, but that last fight still had an effect on him. Trust me, I can do this. So, I've had this theory that Joshua's going to die in this game. And uh, this one-on-one -on -one battle seems like a, a place that that would happen. Okay, I trust you. Honestly, I've got some business to settle with this idiot too, but screw it. Guess I can trust you to handle this one. Just don't lose to him, you got it? Don't worry, I won't. Uh, you didn't level up, so you're not at full HP, Joshua. It's true that I've lost a bit of my edge. I'm a little slower in particular. Uh, you could even walk away from this fight as the victor. But I wouldn't bet on those odds if I were you. Maybe not, but still. This soul of mine, which was saved by a sister, bound by a professor, freed by a father, and is now one with the Stells. All I've learned as a bracer, and the power given to me by Ouroboros. With all of it together, I challenge you, Blade Lord. Very well. Come then, Black Fang. Okay, I'm not I'm not fighting him. That's good news. This this music makes me believe he's gonna die though. Come on, Joshua. Prove me wrong. Well, you have improved. Let's see if you can keep up. Or keep it up. I can. What are you doing, Joshua? You're faster than this. Why not use your speed to try and best me? I have something I want to ask you, Loe. Why do you continue to side with Weissman, even after all this? You said before it wasn't about revenge for Karen. That you wanted to bring the world to trial. What does that even mean? It's nothing you need concern yourself with. I simply wish to see if humanity could answer for its failings. Answer its failings, I still don't follow. Humanity is the plaything of forces greater than individual men. The passage of time, the changing ideals of nations, gradual shifts in values and ethics. They are helpless before these, and when such storms blow over, they are knocked into the cracks and are lost, unable to free themselves. Hamill is but one example. <laughs> Ironically, this great city is exactly the same. It began as a paradise, people living full, fulfilled, satisfied lives in the clouds. However, at the same time as the Great Collapse, or as part of it, people abandoned this paradise and fell to the earth. The city was sealed away and people forgot it even existed. Almost as if they sought to forget the inconvenient truth, as if they sought to deceive themselves. The truth is, uh, the truth is ever easily suppressed and people will happily accept anything they wish uh, to be true in its place. That is mankind's weakness, that is their sin. But the Ariel's overwhelming power will force people to face the unabated truth. How helpless they are without the backing of nations. How vulnerable they become once you strip them of all their luxuries. 
all they've locked away in their delusions will be dragged before their eyes, raw and exposed, and they will witness. Locked away in their delusions, huh? So forcing people to confront that is your goal. It is. As long as we continue to delude ourselves, to, con to believe the world is always just and good, mankind will repeat its mi mistakes forever. More tragedies like Hamill will happen. A second time, a third, who knows how many. So many more like Karen will bleed their lives out on the arms of those they care for. You want to know why I obey Ouroboros? That's why. Now I have no regrets for what I've become in the pursuit of my goal. I see. I think you're the delusional, uh, delu delusional one, Loe. What? I'm a weak person myself, so what you've said hits home. There's some truth in it. But we all have the potential to overcome hard times or face our weakness. People aren't helpless, not completely. Remember when Karen saved me 10 years ago? She was strong then, and that made all the difference. <clears throat> there's no way you ever or you, there's no way you never realized that. Not with how important Karen was to you, with how important you were to her. You're deluding yourself, Loe, and you know it. No. Karen was special. Karen was... She was the only one who could have ever made a difference. None of her actions speak for humanity. They must still be tested. Uh, they must face their delusions. And I must see if they are worthy of Karen's sacrifice. In that case, I should be all the proof you need. I, the weakling and liar who lived on through my sister's sacrifice. I, who found my way once I met Estelle. I, who only could, uh, who only, <clears throat> that, uh, I, who only could have come here to meet you again with her help. People are never powerless so long as they are together. Oh. The Blade Lord lost his sword. Bars. He won. Would you look at that? Thank you. You put all you had into a single opening you forced out of me. You little fool. Not good enough? The Blade Lord's dropped his sword. It doesn't get much more final than that. All I can do is admit a defeat. Defeat? You did it! That was absolutely amazing, Joshua. You actually beat Loe. You even knocked away his sword. You didn't hurt him. I wouldn't have the slightest hope of victory if I was fighting to kill. There's always a better way. That's what it means to be a bracer, right? That's what Dad taught us. Yeah. Of course. You had the techniques Weissman placed in you, all filtered through the wisdom of the Divine Blade. What hope did I even have? Loe. I joined Ouroboros because I wanted to test humanity. With you having answered that, I suppose I've run out of reasons to continue working with them. I think it's time I found a new line of employment. What? What? You're back. Thank Adios, you're back. Loe's back. It's over, it's over. Hey. I always thought about you, even after the Brights took me in. I remembered your voice, your face. That you were important to me, but not who you were. Then I finally remembered, only to learn that you're my enemy. I just didn't know what to think. I see. <clears throat> we're crying out loud. No matter how old he tries to act, he's still just a kid who needs family, huh? You think so? Uh, how could my amber-eyed beau dare to be smothered in the affections of another man? Why, the very thought alone consumes my heart with the green flames of jealousy. If nothing else, you are so totally ruining the moment. Oh, sorry everyone. I guess I kind of lost it there. I know nothing's settled yet, but still. You big dummy. You don't need to apologize, okay? You've finally made up, right? Go on, spend some time with Loe. Spend, yeah. Estelle Bright, I owe you a debt I don't think I can ever repay. Huh? Both Ren and Joshua here. You've done all sorts of things I never could yet made 
it looks so triv trivial. You've done all sorts of things I never could yet made it look so trivial. That, I don't think that's right. Uh, and you've guided so many other people to this point. You truly are one of a kind, Estelle. You know, if you're making fun of me, we can totally throw down again, just saying. And, it, and uh, Agate Krosner, your blade strikes with conviction and force now, rather than empty rage. You find, or, uh, you've managed to find your reason for fighting now, I assume. Yeah, I guess. Wait, where do you get off sounding all self-righteous like that? Sounding like the old man at this point. I'm honored to be compared to the Divine Blade. And Prince Oliver. Uh, is it not a bit careless to leave behind your Vander Escort? Uh, your life does not belong to just you, after all. It is all a matter of priorities, kinsman. After all, the Arseal is both the ace up our sleeve and our lifeline. Repairing and defending it protects my own person as well. Very uncommon wisdom and courage for nobility. Royalty seems like such a waste of your talents. In this, we're agreed. Oh yeah, Loe, why, uh, why are you up here? Uh, this circle on the ground isn't the Ariel, is it? No, that's just some broadcast equipment. Uh, it sends the miraculous power of the core sector out across the city. But what now? The core sector is where the Ariel is, I'm guessing. Yes. The proper function of the Axis Pillar is, essentially, as an antenna broadcasting the Ariel's power to the rest of the, the city. Its range seems to be roughly a thousand selg. Using the Gospels, the Ariel could affect things uh, not just in what we call Liberal now, but across a good deal of the continent. The more I hear, the crazier it gets. So in order to stop the shutdown phenomenon, we have to get down to the core sector and do something about the Ariel. It would be the only way. But doing something with the Ariel may prove difficult. It's an artifact of some sort, but it's sentient in some way. It mercilessly removes foreign or threatening elements. Uh, that Celeste Oslis managed to seal it away in the first place or uh, is impressive in, in and of itself. And on top of the Ariel, you'll have to deal with Weissman. No crud. It's a fight we can't put off any longer. But with your help, Loe, not even Weissman can stop us. You brat. Just assuming I'll help you out. Uh, out of the blue like that? Uh, now why would I possibly want to help you out? My my, this is a touching reunion. May I just say, however, that I do ever so slightly fear the implications of my own well-being. Iceman. Oof. Oh no. Loe. Good evening, everyone. I would say you've done a splendid job overcoming my little trials and reaching the pinnacle, but all these little rule violations, so unsporting. Rule violations? What are you talking about? We fought every one of your dumb enforcers fair and square. Uh, and Joshua beat Loy one-on-one. -on -one. Heck, we've been fairer about this uh, than we should have been. I see that you've yet to grasp the full extent of the plan. All servants of Ouroboros receive power from the Grand Master in some way or form. If you have a few members of Ouroboros assisting you, that hardly seems a fair or an informative experiment, now does it? We're an experiment? I've been a fool. Us coming here was part of your plan all along, wasn't it? I'll admit to adding many of my own personal touches to the plan, but yes, about half of it did consist of you making your, your way here course. The gospel plan concerns more than the Ariel alone. Correct. All is according to the Grand Master's design, but as I said, you are never meant to have Ouroboros members as part of the experiment, which means Joshua here is ruining the precision of my results. Forgive me, my boy, but I think it's time you became my puppet once more. What? What do you... Joshua. No. This was your plan. Weissman, you bastard. Joshua, this is a joke, right? Come on, come on back. 
Come on, stop it. Stop looking at me like that. Please, that's enough. There's little point. When all this began, I used my power to rebuild Joshua's shattered mind. The stigma I sank into the depths of his mind has slept dormant since. When it is, when it is invoked, however, the effect is tremendous. Joshua really is little more than a puppet to me now. No. Incidentally, uh, that little thing on Joshua's shoulder, that isn't just a tattoo. It is the image of the stigma I burned into his mind, made manifest on his flesh. I imagine it became as or I imagine it came as quite the fright when it reappeared after I returned his memory. You lied. On top of all the suffering you put Joshua through, you said you'd freed him, but even that was a lie. Now, now, I wasn't lying when I told him he was free. If Joshua had just left, uh, left alone and not come this far with you, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have to do this. Why, one could say this is really all your fault, Miss Bright. What a monster you are! Don't you screw with me, Weissman. You don't get to tell me anything about what paths I've chosen. You taking control of Joshua? All it's done is made me even more angry. I am going to beat you clear to Erebonia and back to save Joshua. Now that's what I was hoping to see, but I'm afraid I'm rather busy at the moment. I don't quite have time to stay here right now. Why don't you come down to the core sector? Do come visit so we can finish the experiment. I'll be waiting. Hmm. Ashwa. Darn it, this is bad. How do we get to this core sector? Use the elevator in the back. Oh, I thank goodness you're okay. But what elevator? I don't see... Oh, wait, you mean that big plate in the back? It goes right down to the core sector, straight to the Ariel. Hurry, no time. All right. But I only have three party members. Uh, isn't that what brought the R seal down? Uh, Reverie Dragon. Darn you, Weissman. So you did have uh, more than just one I used. Figures, Weissman. Uh, would throw m more big metal things in our way. We've got to get past them somehow. Then let us handle this. What are y'all doing here? Ah, Mueller and Captain Schwarz. What are you doing here? The repairs to the R seal are essentially done. We got every uh, we got everyone we could. Uh, Whatever, we got everyone who could fight together and uh, came out to assist you. Admittedly, I'm just tagging along, looking at everything in awe. I was like, I was about to say, like, what is the professor doing here? And don't forget about us. The Bobcat's about ready to fly, too. We figured we'd pop on over and see how you were getting on. That's great. And I'd say we managed to uh, time our heroism just right once, uh, just right once again. Please, no applause. So don't worry about those things, we'll handle them. Estelle, you hurry after Joshua. Guys, thanks. Estelle, go. Your light is the only thing that can save Joshua now. Right. Can I... Everyone attack? Went into two groups, rip them apart. Yeah. Alright, but I, I need one of you guys to come help me. I need four party members, please. 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 Looks like Joshua doesn't die after all. There's still time. He doesn't die to low A. But there's still time for him to die. Poor Olivier. You don't like this cliche? The cliche of the, the villain popping out and proving himself to be much more powerful than you could ever imagine, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Didn't think this uh, this be a, an elevator shaft. How do, uh, deep do you think it goes? At the very least, it must cover the entirety of the height of the pillar. I fear it goes down to the center of this floating island. Yeah. Come on, Estelle, this ain't you. Didn't you two promise each other you'd stay together until the end or something? That kid doesn't know how to break a promise. He'll come around. Agate, thanks. Yeah. 
Uh, he'll never break a promise if he can't help it. Besides, the heck I'm gonna just abandon him and let that creep Weissman do what he wants with my Joshua. It's time to take back my man with girl power. Heck yeah, that's the spirit. Never fear, should things possibly go wrong, I shall intervene. The overwhelming power of my love shall return Joshua to us. I bet. Thanks, Olivier. Big Bad comes in, kills his ally. He thought Loi was dead when you said that. I, I actually thought he was going to die, like, you know, something, but uh, looks like he's still alive. Uh, what's that? Blast. Oh, no. I haven't even got to save yet, by the way. There's more uh, of those dragon things. All right, so either what Loe said was a typo or what Estella sang is a typo, because Loe said dragon with an I in there. Now she's saying dragon. Uh, we, uh, we really do need to be ready for anything. Darn right, bring it all on. <sighs> I mean, at least they're at full HP. 20,000. We're going to spread out. Okay, that was painful. And I've seen worse. Agate, you're my damage dealer. Alright, I would appreciate it if you left Olivier alone. Let's see. Oh, we have Silver Thorn. Interesting. Are you weak against anything? No. Joshua has, like, really important equipment and stuff like that. <sighs> Life is hard. Agate is doing a ton of damage. I, I can count on somebody to, uh, to pick up a little bit of slack here. I'm like the fact that I did not build Joshua to be my biggest damage dealer as far as like single target goes, even though he has the double strike, is uh, it's really uh, coming in handy right now. It wasn't too bad. Oh, we're level 90. Nice. Okay, bye. Oh, yep. Okay, bye, frames. <laughs> I guess this is the end of the line. So this is the core sector, huh? Yes, do you feel how the air pulses with barely contained power? There can be no mistake. Our boy in the Ariel must be just ahead of here. They have to be, I think. Guys, this will probably be our last fight. This is where we're gonna stop Ouroboros and the shutdown phenomenon. And it's gonna be where we free Joshua from Weissman once and for all. Guys, please, give me everything you still have. 
like you'd get anything less. Always, my rose, come. The curtain rises to the final scene. Okay. We picked up... We picked up... Gladiator belt. Auto CP. Hmm. Never fought Weissman before, so I don't know what he's capable of. We're going to equip that because it has the status stuff. Uh, can I go back and leave and save? I can save. Good call on that. Uh, but I don't think I can leave. There is a like a little health thingy right there, but yeah, it doesn't look like I can go back. Okay. Um. I guess we're just gonna have to rock with what we've got. Here we go. Hold on a second. Two things I want to check. What level was low A? 95. Jesus. All right, so we have to assume that Weissman's probably like level 100. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it is a dragon right here. So it was a typo for Estelle. Okay, here we go. 